Victoria, British Columbia, and I get the impression, not based on any factual information, that this is somewhat like the Nassau of the Alaskan cruise. Now, I'm probably wrong on this, and we've got a whale watching excursion planned. I'm excited about. So, we'll see what the day has in store for us. We're grabbing a map right now. We have about a half an hour walk to meet the tour people. And Kelly's got us mapped up and she's leading the way like a true champion. So we'll see you on the boat. You don't even get She's telling me to read between the lines already and I haven't even done anything. That's sad. Okay, so we said, we're not walking. We jumped in a cab. Was that just My back's killing me from climbing that rock wall yesterday. So it's probably for the best. Yes, that was Tristan. Hey, Stella, are you ready to see some whales? We already saw them. Can I tell you a whale of a tail? Oh my gosh, I'm so cheesy. Sorry. Stella, you don't want to go home? I'm already getting teary. I don't think Charles does. But remember, are you glad we did this cruise and not a Caribbean cruise? No. No? But you like the cruise anyway? She doesn't care about the I want to go on a Caribbean cruise. Ooh, look at that pretty thing. starving so we stopped at beaver tails they've got a large selection of pastries and ice cream but all I got was poutine because I love poutine I don't know if this is good poutine but we'll find out so beaver tails poutine review really good it's got big old hunks of cheese and gravy. It's fantastical. It's hitting the spot because I'm starving. Should have eaten on the ship, but I wasn't hungry at the time. But I'm all set now. Should we head to the boat? Yeah. Let's do it. Here. I don't even know if you can hear me. Oh, I get it. Ollie the Ollie. 
Ollie the honor? <laughs> Ollie the honor. It's a little chilly out, so I had to get a new hat. But there's no shortage of hats in Canada, so it was quick and easy to find one. I hope we see some whales today. I want to see Shamu come flying out of the water in super slow motion. No shore excursion would be complete without tchotchke shopping by the Klaikowskis. The difference between the tchotchke shopping everywhere else we've been and here in Victoria is that there are quite a bit of unique items that we're not used to seeing. So it's kind of fun to actually look around. It was like this the whole trip actually, but I've noticed in Victoria there's some really unique shopping options in town. So if we had more time, we'd probably shop more, but we're running low on time. We've got a lot to do tonight to get ready to disembark yesterday, but we'll get some tchotchke shopping in and hit the road. Okay, so we're headed to dinner. We're looking stylish and nice. The girls are going to where, Caitlin? Solarium? Yes. And we're going to chef's table. It happened again. What is going on? Okay, so first impressions. The menu has not changed. It's still the same, but... Thank you, sir. We love it. And the wine has already started flowing. I'm not even sure what this is. It's almost like a sweet champagne. I can truly get over the fact that the menu has been the same on every ship because we found that even though it's the same items on the menu, the presentation seems to be different every time. I didn't look at the wine pairings yet to see if they're the same, but um, I can already tell our sommelier is very knowledgeable and friendly. He was actually trying to help me set up the ultimate spot to film so that I didn't um, get in anybody's way. And it seems to be working. Welcome to the chef's table. Thank you for coming. Thank you for choosing chef's table. And of course, let me introduce myself. My name is Andri. I'm all the way from Ukraine and I'm going to be your waiter and sommelier for tonight. 
And of course, I'm extremely proud to in charge on the chef's table on Innovation of the Seas. For the last 16 months, it's my actually second contract already here. With Innovation, before of course another ships. Yeah, before another cruise lines, I work with celebrity cruises, now I'm with Royal Caribbean. For you, it's your first time on the chef's table or you've been before? This is our fourth time. Four times. Excellent. Anyway, I'm going to explain you how it's working. Uh, as you can see in front of you, you have a beautiful menu. Where you can find seven different courses. With each course, of course, I'm going to serve you different type of wine. And uh, give you some information and some history about the wine. Together with me, my partner chef from the galley. He's going to be together with us with all courses. And he's going to give you the whole explanation about the food. How he cooking, how he preparing, all the recipe, everything. Only what you need to choose from the menu, just only your main course, your main dish. Have a look, the first main course for tonight, we're gonna have a branzino. Branzino is a traditional Italian fish from Mediterranean Sea. It's a Sibas family, white fish. And of course, one more main course for tonight is gonna be filet mignon. For filet mignon, of course, the chef recommendation is always medium rare, but it's up to you. Everybody actually know what is mean filet mignon. What is mean mignon? From French. Yes or no? It's a beef tenderloin, one of the lazy muscle, and of course it's a, a mignon from French name is small. But I have another story. It's happened 300 years ago. It was a Napoleon time. He called all the generals, yeah, and he tell them, I give you 48 hours, you need to find for me for dinner new dish, you need to surprise me. And of course, at this time, he a little bit scared them. Yeah? After two more days, all the generals, they came and they present new dish. And the general with name Mignon, he's the one who presents a small piece of beef. Yeah, it was beef tenderloin. And when the Napoleon tried, he said, amazing. Very nice and tender, juicy, melting in the mouth. You know what? From today, we're gonna call filet, filet Mignon, by your name. But I don't know it's true or it's not true. <laughs> How was the Key Royal cocktail? Uh, the very simple cocktail from France, I mix together Prosecco with Crema de Cassis. It's a sweet liquor. Okay? Test the cocktail, have a look on the menu, and in a few minutes I'm coming back, okay? <laughs> so they switched up our table arrangement because not as many people showed up as expected, which is working out better for me because now I've got a closer look at our waiter and you'll be able to hear what he's saying. It'll be fun. <laughs> Okay, sorry for disturbing you. Uh, I just want to introduce you the first wine for tonight. It's going to be Nobilo. It's a wine from New Zealand. It's a Sauvignon Blanc. Like it's usually all the Sauvignon Blanc. It's very light and very approachable wine. Yes, and it's very easy to drink. And it's just only for your beginning to clean your palate before your first course. Taste the wine in a few minutes. I'm coming back with your first appetizer together with the chef. I'm Chef Neville. I am totally responsible for each and every one of your courses coming out. And I'll be back each time so we can have a little conversation about it or I can explain it a bit. Alright, so now we've started with our first course, our scallop carpaccio. Our waiter just came through in the clutch, y'all. In typical Klikowski fashion, I forgot to film my first plate. But he had an extra one sitting right back there. And he's like, here you go. Enjoy. This is going to be a fantastic evening. I have assistant. Okay, sorry for disturbing again. I just want to introduce you one more white wine for tonight. It's going to be next wine is going to be Chardonnay, it's a Mer Sole from Santa Lucia Highlands. Everybody know where is the Santa Lucia? It's a California. And actually it's very close to the Napa Valley, one of the famous places in the United States, yeah? Have a look at the wine, how it tastes the wine. Like for me this Chardonnay is a very good example how it's supposed to be Chardonnay. You can see the color and the texture. It's a little bit creamy and buttery. And also what I need to say first of all about the specific climate. Because uh, at daytime is always warm, but at nighttime is always cold. That's when the morning is always foggy. 
and because of this climate is giving very nice balance between natural acidity and fruitness and also around all these vineyards they have a plenty lemon trees that's why when you're gonna taste the wine you're gonna feel a little bit more of extra lemon zistonis taste the wine in a few minutes I'm coming back with your soup and taste the wine together with the soup and you'll see how the wine gonna change the taste yeah <laughs> with the soup you need to find the way how to move the water from one glass to another glass oh no in a good way without messing the table <laughs> dry not wet if you don't know i'm gonna show you how to do it you got it you can do it we got it we got it we got it you got it you got it oh you got it do it do it do it Another place for the air to come in. It's working! Oh, it, it is working! Okay! Yes! Oh, look at that! I forgot to tell you without sliding. Oh, it's too late! Oh, no, no, I'm just joking. Yeah, got it, got it. Shut up. <laughs> well done! So, this chef's table is totally different than the rest because they're adding more fun and conversation into the mix and I like it. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. At least somebody's looking forward for me to come back. <laughs> How was your scallops? Delicious. Excellent. Lovely. Now we move on to our next course. Our next course is our smoked tomato soup. Our smoked tomato soup is served with protons, creme fraiche, microgreens and garnish with parmesan cheese and sun-dried tomato. Our roasted tomato soup is made from fresh tomatoes. First we roast them off nicely, then we add them to some veg stock and allow that to simmer slowly cook for up to four hours. During a period of time, after that we, strain, we blend it, strain it, add it back to the pot, reduce it until desired texture and then Salt and pepper to taste, finish it off with some liquid smoke. So there's a cork inside this bottle and I need to get it out with everything we have on the table but we can't break the bottle and I'm trying to stuff this in here and I don't I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna pull this off this is so fun this is not gonna work. Yes, why? Let's Cork on the middle of the napkin. Yep. And when you're removing, you see the napkin is closed. Oh, for heaven's sake, I was there! <laughs> I got pita and some chips and a nice little salad and some zucchini and patatas and Stella, what'd you get? So I got pasta, pizza salad, shrimp kebabs, a pear, a roll, garlic bread, and potatoes. This is a totally different experience than what we're used to. <laughs> 
One more white wine for tonight. Unfortunately, last white wine for tonight is going to be one more Chardonnay from France, uh, made by William Favre. It's a Chablis wine. Everybody know what is mean Chablis? What is mean Chablis? You said yes. <laughs> Chablis is just the name of the village where they're producing this wine. It's the same like Champagne came from Champagne. Champagne. Yes, and only champagne can be champagne because it's coming from champagne. The same, the, all the Chablis wine coming from the Chablis. And actually the history of this wine start more than thousand years, together with from Empire. And it was one of the first wine at this time when they start to have a tasting. Yeah, bless you, madam. And uh, that's why they create four different types of this wine. The first one was a Grande. And before it's coming to the market, it's taking at least minimum 15 to 20 years old. That's why sometimes this bottle can cost more than ten thousand dollars. That's why we don't have this wine on board. <laughs> but we have another one, better one, which is a second uh, wine. It's a premier. Why this wine is unique? First of all, because of the soil. The soil contains some minerals and the seashells. And before it's coming to the market, it's taking at least two to five years. Old. Okay? Taste the wine. In a few minutes, I'm coming back with your son. Hey, honey. I think it's time for a toast. Cheers. I wanted to do it louder, but you were too subtle. That's Kelly for you. She's a Rosinfandel drinker. She doesn't mess around. But right now, we're trying to figure out how to move this Diet Coke can. From one glass to the next without touching the can or the glass. Before we start pouring water, did he say about using utensils? He didn't say anything about utensils. Can you stick a fork in there and lift it up like chopsticks? Oh, there you go. So does that count as touching it? Well played, y'all. We did it. <laughs> nice. I mean, it's not like he couldn't have seen that coming. We figured out the challenge. We used a fork. <laughs> we are absolute engineers at Chef's Table. We're definitely getting dumber as we go, but that's to be expected. Cheers. Oh, we were wrong. Oh, the fork idea was out of, it wasn't an option. Oh, we blew it. We toasted it and all, and we blew it. Where's Griff when you need him? And Alyssa, they know how to figure this stuff out. I knew they should have come to Chef's Table. See, y'all are in the MDR right now eating, and you could be at Chef's Table with us figuring out these riddles. So now we move on to our next course. Our next course is our lobster in. It is served with mango puree, pineapple, heart of palm, garnished with cilantro, and red peppers. And dressing is vanilla dressing. So next up is the main lobster salad. And it's the last Chardonnay pairing of the whole meal, which is kind of sad because I love me a Chardonnay. But let's check it out. It has like a mango, vanilla taste to it. It really comes through. But let's see how it pairs with the wine. I learned in wine school that I'm not supposed to touch the outside of my glass, only the stem, but I'm not following that rule today. Okay, time for the main course, time for the red wine, yeah? Uh, okay, we're gonna have a three types of main course, that's why we have a three types of the wine. Uh, together with the fish, sir, we have a Branzino, traditional Italian fish. That's why we have Italian wine, it's a Pinot Grigio from Veneta. And one more Italian wine is going to be Lucente, made by Luce della Vita from Tuscany, uh, together with the pasta. Why we choose Italian wine together with the pasta? Because we have Italian pasta and for sure with Italian wine is going to be the best combination. 
And one more red wine is going to be Coppolo. Everybody know this gentleman, yes, movie maker, yeah. And of course, we also have a wine yard. Extremely good wine, very nice wine. Even you can see the lady's legs on the glass. You know what they're showing you the lady's legs on the glass? Spin the glass, and you will see the lady's legs on the glass. How they're gonna go slowly. Okay, you need to take the bottle. You need to take the bottle with one hand. You pour the wine in the glass, and then you need to put bottle back on the table. But the cork need to stay on the top all the time, on the same position. Oh, and of course, oh for crying out loud. <laughs> not even with a fork. No, nothing at all. <laughs> but you can use everything we would have on the table before or after, but in the moment when you're pouring the wine, at this moment you cannot touch. And the cork needs to stay on the same position all the time. <laughs> Heavens to Murgatroyd. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Uh, he is going to do what he can. This is amazing. It's not going to be any joke either. It'll stick right on the edge as he pours like that bird. It's like a balancing. Uh, yep. True profession. This is amazing. That's amazing. Oh my god. Get straight out of town. Dessert. Where are we? Okay, say bye. <laughs> Thanks for dining with us. I didn't get anything. I didn't want anything. The chef's table is top notch. This exceeds all of the previous chef's tables for us. Our waiter is very personable. Our chef knows what he's talking about. The wine is flowing, which we expect at chef's table, but the way they're pairing it and explaining it is absolutely fantastic. Kelly got the pasta, the tagliatelle, as we like to call it on the Ovation Cruise. The rest of the folks got the filet mignon. But y'all know me, I'm a fish guy. And I'm not turning down Branzino. Unless it's Chilean sea bass. The Branzino, the preparation, once again, is totally different. It's got little lime wedges on top with a really good pesto sauce on the bottom this is so much better than freedom still going y'all okay here we go the drink that's gonna rip your face off it's just showed up but be careful, huh? Thank you. Chocolate martini, cream of the cacao, Baileys, absolute yeah. vanilla vodka, and one of the dangerous ingredients is a milk. Listen, this looks fun and friendly, but it's not. This is the drink that puts you to bed at night. All you have to do is take one sniff of it and you know you're in trouble. Yes, it pairs great with the fantastic dessert. But I have to sing tonight, y'all. Uh, thank you very much for choosing Chef Table for tonight. Um, as your chef, I am proud to serve you. And wherever we go from here, May God bless us all. Thank you very much and safe travel. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much for. Well, Chef's Table, once again, was a fantastic experience. We've told you before and we'll tell you again. 
if you get an opportunity, take advantage of Chef's Table on Royal Caribbean. Everything is fantastic. The wine pairings are good. The food's great. Listening to your sommelier and the chef tell you how it's all prepared and how it all complements itself, it's all worth it. There's a lot of things you can do on a cruise, and if you appreciate the dining side of the cruise experience, this is the activity for you. We've done it the last night of the cruise the last couple of times. I wouldn't recommend that because you go back to the room kind of saucy and you got to pack all your stuff up and that's not easy. I'd recommend chef's table on day two or three, sea day possibly, but you hit it out of the park again, Royal. We love you. I'll just pull this out because I like to dance. All right. Take it away, guys. Not really. Well, you done done me, and you better felt it. Tried to be chill, but you so hot that I melted. Fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving in my best is to not just go and stop me, but divine intervention. Reckon it's again my turn to win some more, learn some, but I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. Guys, that's the end of the vlog. We're saying goodbye, y'all. Saying goodbye. It was an epic, epic cruise. We crushed it. We did it all. We did it from every angle. But alas, it has come to an end. You want to shut it down, y'all? Shut it down. With our powers combined. Hey. Get in, there. Get in there, girl. One, two, three. Good night, y'all. Okay, this pregnant woman, eight and a half months, and she have a twins, two boys in inside. 
Yeah? Oh. One of the morning she wake up and of course both of them also wake up. When they wake up, they start to talk to each other. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Are you still well? Yes. What about you? I also have a good sleep, but you know what? When I sleep, I see in my dream mother. Mother of boy. Mother? Who is this mother? Mother is somebody who take care about us. Another boy. I don't believe you. Nobody see her. Where is she? Another boy. She's everywhere. She's around us. Another boy. No, I don't believe you. How do you know? Who tell you? You know what? After nine months, when we're gonna die here, we're gonna have another life on another world, and then we're gonna see her, and she's still gonna take care about us. Another boy still don't want to believe. He said, no, I don't believe you. But another boy said, no, we need to believe. We are now living here. She take care about us. And she's everywhere and she's around us. And when we're gonna die here, we're gonna have another life. And then we're gonna see her and she's, she's still gonna take care about us. This is the example how we are living here and in what we are believing. They talking about the mother, how we are talking about God. God. And it's very nice example. Yes or no? Now sometimes you can say yes or no. Of yes. course, it's not going to help you with this. Come. No, 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 no. 